Hello. Uh, you didn't, uh, we're not waiting. We, oh, we start shooting while Alex is still here. Mm. Is that the thing? Oh uh, yeah, he just stands there staring at us. This is weird, not this is nearly weird. as comfortable. Yeah, we have a different angle, because usually we have this like window past the camera. It's like, oh, sunlight, now we just got camera, dark corner, and just an unblinking dude. No, I think he just moves at 30 frames. Mouth agape. <laughs> <laughs> Just hoping that we sprinkle whiskey in there from a distance. <laughs> yeah. Flick, flick, flick. Uh, welcome to Whiskey Vaults. I'm Daniel. Rex, bottle yeah. not here. Well, it's uh, so we tried out this angle back in the day, and I liked it, and I think some other people liked it. Uh, and then um, forgot about it. So, remembered. Hey, yeah. angle. Yeah. This is from Eric Evanson, and this bottle makes him a titan. Daniel, in the distance, do you hear that? I do. Could it be? I think it's likely Eric Evans. It very often is the person that yes, you name yes, that's, that's in the distance. Me. We're very good at that. Cheers, you magnificent bastards. <laughs> this is a Kirkland Isla single malt. Now, Kirkland, <coughs> if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. surprising interest in the episodes that we've done with yeah. Kirkland whiskey. Reasonable quality. And, yeah, the quality yeah. is like you see like a Kirkland, how good is it going to be? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good pretty often. I will tell pretty you. Good, pretty, pretty often, yeah. Um, Alexander Murray is the company that does these. They do like Trader Joe's whiskeys yeah. and Kirkland, a lot yeah, of yeah. Kirklands and other big white label brands. So the question is... Is it's cool that it's a single malt and not a blend. Mm -hmm. We do not know how old it is. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say Kahlua. What say you? It's a nice, rich Kahlua. That was going to be my guess before I even opened it mm -hmm. because it's 50%. It's easier to get sourced Kahlua than just about any it of the is, other. And Islas. It's got definitely has that peatiness, but it's not heavy handed like a Laphroaig. Um, I don't get quite the. Uh, the Crispiness of a Lagavulin. It's definitely a lighter touch. Mm hmm. And it has, it still has that like toasted honey note. Mm hmm. Toasted honey. There's some, uh, some malt fruitiness in there, but the peat, it's there. So we're in Isla for sure. That's good. How did you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, it's Kirkland, maybe. It could be Bunahoff. Maybe they just stuck I don't know some what it is. in a bottle. I don't know what it is, but anything Kirkland signature, because most of my experiences with the Kirkland signature mm -hmm. stuff has been pretty good. Pretty, yeah, pretty but you good. always go back to it thinking like, eh. Yeah. It, and then you get it and you're like, oh. It's going to be some kind of, you know, nice. kind of cheapo, generic, whatever. And it's usually pretty dang good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, going in. Mm, that's more um, barbecue than I thought it would be. Yeah. Also, I don't know that that's Kalila. It's thicker. Yeah, it's got density. Yeah. What the heck? Yo, just pull out all of the Isla. No. We need to be fair and thorough. A thorough fair, if you will. What if we try <laughs> Kalila yeah. and yeah. Port Charlotte? Uh, because I'm trying to think of a barbecue peat, and it's definitely a Brooklady. You're not going to have to twist my arm on either of those. Uh, what's the proof on the Kalila? This is 43. Maybe this is just a higher proof Kalila. Maybe that's what it does whenever you, you get it up to no, 100 proof. We've had some, I have the cask Kalila over there. Get that too. No, but it's a single barrel though, and it's not typical for Kalila. So already there's a bit of a color difference. The Kirkland's darker. More medicinal and less meaty. This is instantly yeah. more of the depth and meatiness this on the nose. This is absolutely lighter. Part of that is going to be down to the proof. Yeah. And also, we don't know the age. Here, keep that one. <coughs> Let's 
put it in this. Did they get a Port Charlotte though? Why would they get, how could they? Oh, wow. You're That's thinking, really, really close mm -hmm. on the nose. I mean, it's like f family resemblance for sure. Okay, I think it's closer than the Kalila uh, at the okay. regular 43%. Uh, well, let's see. My well, other, it's, it's not exact. My other all. option would be, and it would surprise me, I would yeah. doubt it, but it might be possible. Sure. Maybe Ardbeg. Ironically, the it's over Port here. Charlotte, comparatively so far, the fact that this is going head to head. Very admirably, very admirably with one of my favorite whiskeys. Did you try it? On an, uh, I did. I did. It's okay. beautiful. I tasted this. Put the Kalila out of the way so we don't mix it up with what I'm about to pour. Yeah. One more, one last thing on the Kalila. It's just <laughs> lighter and fresher and brighter. Yeah. Uh, this just has more heft and density and think, thickness and body in the peat, in those um, rich fruity notes. Yeah. I think that's multis. why I love that Kalila blends so well because mm -hmm. it's kind of light. Yeah, it still carries with it the interesting pieces of Isla, but it gives room for other flavors to show up. Ardbeg 10. All right, again, do you think they put coloring in this? Because it's coming out darker compared to everything else. Wow. Uh, I mean, what I, is, who knows, but that's pretty light to have colored hold something. Hold on, how much is in the bottle? This full smells so light. It does smell so much and, more light. And fresh, like the Ardbeg, I'm thinking, ugh, Ardbeg, you're gonna... You know, have some really hefty smoke and It's and been a while fininess. since you've done the Arbeg 10, though. You keep going back to the Oogdal. I do go to the Oogdal. The Oogdal. It's beautiful. It's my favorite, no, I don't favorite think Ardbeg. It's closer. Ardbeg is closer than Koila was. Yeah. I think, oh, I, it's definitely closer than Koila. I think it's as close as the Port Charlotte, but neither one of these are the same thing as what's in this bottle. Yeah. But I'll tell you what. <clears throat> That Kirkland Isla yeah. is holding up it, against the Ardbeg really 10. It really is. The Ardbeg 10 and Port Charlotte's one of my favorites of all time. This is not embarrassing itself no. at all. I would be, look, the Kirkland Isla, holy hell. Kirkland Isla. Here, there's Isla. your Port Charlotte. I'm, I'm slowly. It's settling in. I'm, yes. Just say it a couple more times. This janky ass. Just let it roll off the tongue. Kirkland Signature Edition. There's a beautiful whiskey in this yeah, bottle. Yeah, this is like a word clip art yeah. uh, label. <laughs> wow, that's really nice. Damn. It's a sink, and they're not blending it. What okay. could that be? Would you think this was what? a fancier potential whiskey? If you saw it like this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 No, the, the Kirkland Signature thing, it just smacks ah, of oh generic God. store brand. Kirkland Signature. Yeah, you know. Like, that should be put somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, but whatever. It works for them. Yeah. Like, I could bank something Let's up. give Let's give Costco advice. Give me 15 minutes. On how to make money. You have 15 minutes and, not even 15 minutes, five minutes in Photoshop. Yeah. Canva, MS Paint, anything. Yeah. If only Costco understood how to make money. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. that's we're giving them like this is yeah. what you need to do, guys. And they're like, <laughs> no, it's fine, we got it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, from what I understand, it's actually a pretty well-run company. Like the employees, they, yeah, yeah, they yeah. pay very well. They have a lot of good benefits. And, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I keep wanting to talk. It feels like to not keep rambling on about this whiskey is doing it a disservice. Yeah. I really am surprised. Borderline shocked. Yeah, still and fruit malt forward. Yeah, old enough that it doesn't taste grainy. Mm -hmm. uh, the kind of smoke that feels well balanced yeah. and not dominating. And you know, we said that there's surprisingly good things in other Kirklands. Mm -hmm. We keep like underestimating it. This is probably the most overshot of my expectations. Yeah, just completely. Before is like, oh wow, that's surprisingly better than what I thought. This right. is way better than what I thought. Kills it. Yeah. Damn. Great, great job. Damn, though. Okay, right. Like, if you're not sure, <laughs> if you're standing in the aisle at Costco, mm -hmm. and you're like, really? Okay, so this is, what, this is the moment that we're in right now. Okay. You've been surprised. Mm -hmm. Very pleasantly surprised. And I think because it achieved, well, well surpassed our expectations. We're in this mode of, oh, wow, this is amazing. This is fantastic. It's really good. Yeah. Now, we've established surprisingly good. Really good. Now let's go back into it and figure out, are there things that aren't quite what they could be that have been better in other single malts before? Well, I'm thinking of single malts of that caliber, so I'm not gonna compare it to Oogdal. No, we, we should pull it out. But I'm saying 10 compared to the Port Charlotte. Maybe it does go toe-to-toe -to -toe <clears throat> with Oogdal, so we should pull it to Oogdal. 
<laughs> and we should. Are we out of the black art? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think. No, you brought some to the shoot. Yeah, you got some. Yeah. 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 I think. Uh, I think any BNB that donates the black art <laughs> should immediately become a target. <laughs> Titan, Titan, just yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a hundred proof too. That's pretty badass. Mm. Yeah. All right. I yeah. put a little water in mine. Okay. How did it change? It's lowered the smoke. Added the sweetness. It's a little bit more briny and, and meaty on the Kirkland. Oh, punchy. Dude, it bit, got a little bit more briny and meaty on the Kirkland than it is on the Ardbeg. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's about to get more so. Really. A couple of drops of water, it gets even more okay. like. Okay. Yeah. But uh, it, it's depth. It's not smoke bomb or sharpness. I think at the dollar amount, this could toe to toe it with any entry level release yeah. of my preferred Isla distilleries. Yeah, I think it'd probably go, it's actually better than many entry level releases mm -hmm. for the Isla distilleries out there. The thing that I don't think we touched on very much is just the thickness, just mm -hmm. the, the viscosity of this. The, uh, I'm, I'm trying to say a lot of words that aren't mouthfeel. <laughs> That's a really thick mouthfeel. I wish we could get Kirkland uh, in Texas at Costco. No, I'm, I, I can't poke any holes in it because what I would compare it to would yeah. be things that are like obviously more expensive or obviously older. Yeah, so I was about to say this isn't the, in terms of age, it's definitely not, it doesn't come across as young. No. But we've had a lot of more thoroughly matured whiskeys. Yes. More older aged uh, whiskeys. Um, but it doesn't take anything away from what this is right now. No. I mean, if someone told me that was 10, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. I could guess it's anywhere. definitely not closer to the three. See, so I think it's under 10, yeah. and that's one of the reasons that hmm. they didn't put an age statement. Hmm. Because 10 is a respectable age statement, right? Okay. And like Lefroy 10, or like there's 10s ten, there's I mean, out they're there. They're releasing eights. Uh, Kirkland? No, like Lagavulin. Yeah, yeah, but Kirkland brand is going for the general consumer. Tobias Benginson. Benginson. Yeah. Tobias, Makes what sense. does medicinal mean? Um, oh, so... Like I'm, an iodine kind of... Well, so I've heard it used twice, so uh, diff totally differently. Mm. So we had this in class where some I said, this tastes like this, and someone, this tastes medicinal, and it was a bourbon. And I was like, wait, Whoa. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. we dove into that one, yeah, yeah. and it turns out that you're right. I've used medicinal in the same kind of way. They were meaning medicinal, like cherry cough syrup. Oh. Medicinal in the direction of Luden's cough drops right. and like that kind of medicinal. My brain, as a peat I think, drinker, I think band aids and iodine. Yeah, iodine, band aid, actual medical complex, industrial right. smoke and machinery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so yeah, depend. I would say depends on which one. If you're thinking flavoring medicine, mm -hmm. that's a very sweet candied direction. Mm. If you're thinking what we typically use it to refer to, it's iodine band-aid smoke. Y2H, guys, for the love of God, please review some known whiskeys. And then wait yeah, a year. It's once again yeah. time to iterate that the reason that the, the, the views have dropped by 40% is because 90% of what we drink is what you sent in and it's really hard to get. Well, and the goal mm. of the channel is to basically be... Uh, a resource for the people that are going through the Whiskey Song program. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so keep in mind, the goal of this channel has never been to blow up, explode, be a hot topic, and boom, 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 in front of everything. The goal of this has been, first, to serve the Psalms, right. and second, to serve the generosity of the magnificent bastards who wanted to experience something with us. Mm -hmm. And if that meant that it was rare, but they could do it, and they sent it in, we, yeah. we did it. And we said we would review everything. <laughs> And, and you kept sending whiskeys. And we are no, the fact holding that, to that promise. The fact that people sent a whiskey is Crazy. very generous. It's great. Yeah. We, had to cut it, we had to cut it off, though, because at a certain mm -hmm. point, we realized it was going to be over a year before if you oh, sent yeah. a whiskey today. You're going to be waiting a year. That sucks. Yeah. So cutting off, you know, months ago, we no, cut off the donations. Year. And then after yeah. that, we'll kind of circle back and figure out what does the vault need to be at that point. Yeah, to make it a more resource. In the meantime, I'd like to shift this Kirkland Onto my shelf. <laughs> it's really good. That's fair. Right, here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me and fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal your liver. And if you drink, may, may you drink with us.